All right, welcome back, everyone. We I logged in and immediately got punched in the face by this guy. So we're gonna, we're gonna blast them. So I started blasting. Um, this might be short. This episode might be cut a little bit short. Um, I might have to split it in two parts even. I'm getting kind of hungry. It's still like not even 6 a.m. server time, but I'm a little bit hungry and thinking it's time for me to get some food soon. We still need two of these five centaur parts, which is centipar parts. Oh, I don't want to pull that. Let's pull this. What does this do? 12 nature damage inflicted every five seconds. It's really not that much damage. Like when I look at it, it's really pretty minor. Um, like it's almost not even worth... It's like 50 damage. It's just like, I don't know, it feels a little bit unnecessary to even bother cleansing it. Maybe I should. Let's try and shrink this guy. Oh yeah, there we go. 250 reduced attack power. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but I am green, which I don't really like that much. Ooh, as a red ghost is up, uh, I'm swapping over, I'm swapping over. We're gonna do some as a red ghost, as a maybe instead here today. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Limitless. All right, this might be a bonus episode, maybe an as a red ghost episode on my druid, this would be fun. Um, as a red ghost is up, whisper limitless. Okay, the secret Azuragos episode. I, I pronounce it as Azur, Azurgos. Maybe it's Azurgos. Azuragos. Does that make sense? Azurgos. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I haven't really thought that through. Don't kill him. Run him west. It's eight thousand health. Eight thousand health. Jeez. No damage on the dragon. We gotta move Run him west. Everybody just body aggro west. Nope, he's dead. Yikes, died to dots. Who's tagging, I wonder? Fun of boss still? Yeah. That's disappointing. Well. Hmm. Okay, so um, I don't know where I started this episode compared to last episode. Um, what I mean is I started this episode originally and then logged in, had a mob attack me immediately. And then I decided to... Um, and then I decided to go and chase down as a Rigos spawn, world spawn, raid boss on my druid. Um, so I switched over to that and recorded that a little bit, but we ended up not getting the kill, so I may show a little snippet of that at the beginning of this video, but if not, welcome to the video. Um, I spawned, I came back here, it's like the next day, logged in, and immediately got attacked by, I got a hair in my mouth, got one of those, uh, swarmers with a bunch of his little bugs, so I dropped a stone claw and ran, we were on this other side of this platform, this little hill, or crater, we were on the other side at the end of the last episode. I moved to this side because I was literally just running away from that uh, swarmer because I really don't want to fight those guys if I can help it. I think we can pull this guy. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's do this. Let's shrink rate that. Oh, I made myself bigger. Increased size and attack power. I don't think I've seen that one before. Whoa, my attack power is massive now. It's plus 390. I don't know how much that is from this. I think it's 250 increase. It's crazy. It's kind of cool. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that side of the uh, of the shrink ray coin. Yeah. So that was the 250 attack power buff. Oh, that's cool. 250 for like 30 seconds. That's nice. Yeah, I don't think I'd seen that yet. I've shrunk myself, and I've shrunk them, but I've never made myself bigger, so that was interesting. Uh, we still got about 30 minutes on our Nixia buff from the last episode. Um, which is wonderful. I'd love to get uh, a little more use, a little more mileage out of that, because it's such a good buff. Um, let's, I'm backing up a little. Ooh, that was a nice combo of crits. Uh, okay, four or five sent apart parts. Let's get our last one here. We've got a flurry up for a moment. Let's pull this guy. Yeah. 
we get one of our fury procs, two of them maybe. Or two of our charges, I should say. So today we're going to finish up the centipar parts, and then we're going to go continue on with the, um, the Doom All compound, as I mentioned, and then the last episode. And then um, keep moving south to get more of these quests done. We should, I think we'll ding 49 today. I think we're going to hit it. Uh, we will be quite close if we don't, but it should be, should be pretty close. I, I think we'll manage it. Um, overnight, I woke up this morning about, it's like 3.15 in the morning. I woke up and um, the Discord I'm in was like, hey, the world dragons are up, the green dragons are up. Um, by the time I got on, apparently... Um, they were already all dead, but my group that I'm with killed one of them, which is nice. Can't really... Oh, nice, we're done. Okay. I'm so happy we done with this quest. I did not like killing these guys. I'm gonna heal up a little bit, and we're gonna move to the Dune Mall compound, which is, I think is just over here on the map. But yeah, so the, the, the group I'm in got one of the dragons that spawned, which is nice, and they were pretty close on two more of them. Um, so that's cool. So it's cool to have... Again, like I was mentioning, I think the other day, actually, I guess I mentioned this for the Ezeregos thing, which didn't pan out. Um, the end result is that it's tough for the Horde on the server. It's been tough for them to get world dragons or world spawns at all, I mean. So it's nice to see some competition again from them and get start picking up one or two here and there even is a big, big improvement over where we were at. So we're out here getting some sent apart. We finished getting our sent apart parts and... I think this is the Dune Mall compound. This might not be it. No, this is this, this should be it. This is it for sure. Once I saw that cave, you can kind of see it off the left back here. Um, what I need are just to kill a bunch of these guys. As well as Gormarok the Ravager. I think I'm going to start with the Ravager guy. Um, there's sometimes a rare spawn out here, and this is kind of the middle of the night, so there's a, there's a non-zero chance that we find him today. Uh, I was worried I might pull this guy. Let's just kill him. Um, so this is a just a regular ogre, which we don't actually need at all. We need brutes and enforcers. These are a little bit lower level than the insects we were just fighting. They're about one to three levels lower. One to four, maybe. So that's kind of nice. These shouldn't be as bad to kill. I could possibly switch back to my icebreaker. I think I will. We'll see how the glancing blows look, and I'll switch back if it's a problem. But we'll start with that. Let's get a lightning shield up, sure. I don't see the rare spawn anywhere. And we really need enforcers and brutes. Which I think are a lot of them are around this little cave entrance, which is where the named mob is, so... But, uh, I think he should be in there. I don't see him yet, though. There he is. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to start pulling these mobs. This is a 46. Uh, I crit him. Okay, that's a good sign. If I only crit this guy, it's a good sign. Um, melee swing, melee swing. Um, crit. I don't see any glancing blows occurring. That's... Promising. That's a 46, though, so we're probably one of the lower level mobs out here. Um, and we need 10 of all these, the Brutes and the Enforcers, so we can pull this guy to us. Hopefully, I don't pull that other one. Should be okay. Alright. 200 mace up to 225. Nice. Okay. Excited to have my mace up and working finally. It's been, been a while, but finally up and working. I think I have. What is this mace? Level 47. Was there something level 49 that I had that I was going to use? I felt like there was something at 49 that was I was looking forward to using. Um, as a note, I looked up the I went to the auction house and checked the Widowmaker. It sells for it looks like it's listed for about nine to twelve gold, so it's not bad. Um, I probably will end up selling it. I don't think it's that good for me, um, so I'll probably end up selling it. But that was a pretty nice pickup from last episode. It's always kind of fun picking up. Uh, any sort of bind and equip blue. This guy might have some glancing blows against. Yeah, this is a lot of glancing. So the difference of just a couple levels really is fairly significant at this point. Um, like a 46 to 48, that's pretty much where I 
start missing mobs a lot, so... I might switch weapons back and forth for anything. Maybe 46, 47 I'll use this, and 48 and above I'll use my... my... staff. Let's pull this enforcer. Once we kill this guy, we can move in and take on Goromok himself. Should be fine. I think 47 won't have quite as many glancing blows. Go get okay, critical and then melee melee from that Wind Fury. There's a glancing though. Yeah. I'm really interested in the, the weapon skill up situation here because it's just so slow. I just I don't have a lot of intellect. I have like literally nothing that's buffed my intellect. And it just takes forever basically to skill up for me. Um, I could switch to my int gear. Which I have, you know. Actually, I guess it's all my bank. <laughs> so I really can't do that easily. But um, I don't think I care that much. I don't think I need to. Alright. So this mob, I think we can just go in there and just just punch him in the face. I don't think it really matters. We still got Wind Fury on this. Um, I'm going to tote him up. And start off with the good. Lightning Bolt, Flame Shock, a nice miss, that's that's good, a parry, <laughs> miss, parry, dodge, miss, parry, dodge, parry, I haven't hit him once with a melee attack yet, miss, parry, dodge, parry, another parry on that Wind Fury, but two of them did land, there's a crit, oh, a crit seems to have enraged him, something's enraged him here. I don't think I'm gonna need a heal, but I'm ready to. Okay. Oh, well, that was interesting. Let's bandage up. I've got no bandages left, but I'm gonna make some more. Um, we haven't seen any. I haven't gotten any room cloth to drop at all yet, which is kind of funny. Let's go ahead and just make all these bandages up. We'll get some skill ups, which is you know nice too. But yeah, single single piece of room cloth would be nice here. Get some get a room cloth bandage, but we just haven't fought high enough level humanoids yet, so. None for us. Um, Alright. Making some bandages. Uh, let's... It's going to be sad when the Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer drops. Um, I was kind of hoping to... This is enough bandages, we got ten of them. I was kind of hoping to ding before that drops off. Uh, let's put this back here. Um, this is a pair of mobs. I don't know if I want to fight two of them at the same time if I can help it. Uh, but I was thinking how nice it'd be if I hit, if I dinged before this dropped off, but it doesn't, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to run out of our buff before we ding, which is going to make fighting out here a little bit slower and tougher just because we're losing a lot of stats. Apparently that guy's also on the same quest, maybe? Maybe? Alright, dead mob. How good he split these for me, that's perfect. What kills he in? Knockout. I don't recognize that guild, that's okay. I don't have to recognize it. Um, he doesn't... I think I was saying this the other day, there are so many... Oh, let's get that. Um, there are so... <laughs> I missed and, or, and he resisted and he parried my attacks. I was trying to get it... I was trying to hit him once. <laughs> uh oh. Can I heal this guy? Yeah, keep the keep the uh, pony pony the the pig alive. I use all my mana, so I can't do anything else for him. It's getting beat up. That's what's happening? There we go. Though we got a buddy now. Uh, hey, working on the doom compound. I mean, I assume that's what he's working on. It's got to be right. Um, this is nice, because I can actually use my, my two-handed mace for this. I got another, uh, no, I didn't get any skill ups there. I can use my two-handed mace for this now, and not, it doesn't really matter as much, because I'm not necessarily tanking it at all, because his pet might be. Um, awesome, same. Um, so this is quite convenient. I mean, I assume this guy was working on the same quest, but figured I would, uh, just ask. And yeah, so now I might be able to get a few easy skill ups on some of these mobs that would otherwise I wouldn't want to use my mace on, so that's good news for me. Alright, so we just need to pull brutes and 
enforcers. And it looks like he's going to need to kill Gormok. There's a mithril node over there. I wouldn't mind getting that. Here we go. Enforcer. So, oh, this guy's got the cool uh, Tenera. I need to grab that quest. I know what that quest is. I need to go pick it up. Um, I'll do that after this. It's actually we're pretty close to that. It's the Gezridian ornaments. I think it's, we can do that now. It's in the center. It's like right here. If you look in the map, there's this barely this little archway we can kind of see. It's kind of covered up. We haven't explored that spot yet. That is what I need to do, the quest that he's doing. So, yeah. I should go get that. It's a nice one because it's basically just run around the zone and just pick up random little nodes of like dirt, basically. It's little sand dirt piles. And that's really all you have to do is loot those things. Um, we don't need this guy. We do need this guy. It's hard to get... There's not a lot of brutes out here, it seems like. Um, let's pull this. Uh oh If we fight it there, probably going to pull this aggro. Or this uh, warlock. That's okay. Um, don't mind more experience. Yeah, so 15 minutes till this runs off. We've got about 50 minutes left in the episode. Yeah, pretty doable. How do we not aggro that? Like, seriously, we're so close to that mob. <laughs> what level is this guy? Him and his pet? His pet's 45, he's 46. Huh. I guess, speaking of pet, I should probably pull out my guy. I want to get that mithril over there. Is there an easy way to do this? There's also a chest. Yeah, I want to get that. I don't think there's any mobs here. Um, let's see if there's anything good in this. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's not really a big deal, that large opal, but I kind of like it because um, it is like I am a miner, so I might as well, like, if anyone takes it, it makes sense. I don't know if he's also a miner. I mean, then in that case, we could roll for it. I did want this because I went for a skill up, but alas, no skill up. And he killed the mob while we were doing this. That was a four hit mithril node. That's pretty cool. So we got a. Uh, Six solid stone out of that. He killed a mob for me. We got a uh, a large opal. That was nice uh, 30, 30 seconds of stuff there. Alright, let's actually help him out though and be not useless. There's a nice frost shock crit. Uh, is Gormok up? He doesn't, he's not. Another enforcer will take it. Although, the problem is now I need just brutes. Uh, I just need brutes after this mob. Yeah, I killed him just before you showed up. I did kill him probably like a minute before he showed up, so it was just before. So it might be a five or ten minute spawn at least, probably ten minutes. Um. Yeah, I need six brutes, so about the same. There's not a lot of brute spawns, it seems like. Maybe there's another spot where they, they could be at, but there's a brute. Let's pull him back. Those are both enforcers. A couple brutes here. That's a nice uh, pair of mobs to kill. We may aggro this mob, unfortunately. But should back up a little bit just in case. Got that one. Oh, so something funny, not funny, something I recently did. I, um, have you ever had, or, or are you familiar with Tang? Tang is like a, if you're, if you know what Kool-Aid is, it's like a powdered beverage, basically. Like comes, like Kool-Aid comes like little packets usually, and you just tear it open. It's like sugar and flavoring and food cut, food dye, and you just mix it with water, and there you go. You got like your Kool-Aid mix. Um, Tang is essentially the same thing. It's like a powdered product. Um, that you mix with water to get it's kind of like it's really like a fluorescent orange colored beverage comes out of it. I had Tang as a kid occasionally, not a lot, but like more like towards high school. I remember my parents buying it sometimes um, as like an easy thing if we wanted a drink of some sort. And um, man, it's just like it's pure sugar. I mean, right? Like there's like I think it's got vitamin C in it, but like 
Is anyone really vitamin Z deficient? I don't think so. Or vitamin, they say vitamin Z. Vitamin C deficient in the US is very few people. And if you have the means to buy Tang, you like if you have money to spare on something like Tang, you probably aren't in a situation where you need um, vitamin C anyway. So like it's kind of a, uh, like I don't think anyone really cares about vitamin C. For the most part, scurvy is very rare and other random illnesses from vitamin C deficiency, vitamin C deficiency are very rare. Um, all right, we killed the Goromac for a buddy here. Gor, Goromac, am I saying Goromac? Gormorak. I've been butchering that this entire time. Goromac, it's like a, like a, I'm not dyslexic at all, to my knowledge, but I always thought it was Goromac. Goromac, but it's Gormorak. It's quite different. Anyway, Gormorak is now dead. We've got two more brutes to kill after this one, then we can move on with our questing out here. So for some reason I had a, had a, it's a, um, a strong urge to get some Tang. So this is not sponsored by Tang, which would be an interesting sponsorship, but I am not sponsored by Tang at all. Um, but yeah, so bought some Tang, it's like a big tub of it. Oh, nice, look at that. And uh, it's something like three tablespoons to like, 12 fluid ounces of water or something, so it's, it ends up being this, like, it's so fake orange, like, it's so orange in color, really, really, really orange, um, it looks like orange juice, but somehow even more orange than that, um, it's so ridiculous, but it's, it's good, man, I, I love Tang, I, probably will take me a year to eat through that, or to, yeah, have it, yeah, eat, I guess the word, drink through, uh, one more brute, but I can do it solo, no big deal. Um, I just gotta find the last brute. Uh, all right, do my ogre. Is that a brute? There's a brute. Got him. That's what I needed. Ah, uh, so there's actually yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so Tang has been on my in my diet the last week or so, two weeks really. Uh, it's been nice. My wife and I, some, something about being in home confinement for the last like two months had led us to wanting to try like random beverages. So we were buying like random like LaCroix type of things. Um, oh, he killed it for me. That's funny. And the one that he killed is the one that I can go loot. That's funny. I'm going to go over there. Uh, I want to go east and get the next quest in the middle of the zone that I've missed, I think. Um, that was a nice, that was a nice buddy. Um, Zineme? Zineme? I don't know what mob he killed. Like, I don't see anything over here, but he was over in this spot. Maybe something spawned. But I think I can loot it if I... Maybe I'm, I don't know, I don't see anything. That's fine. Let's go get the, um, what I think might be a quest in the center of the zone here. And then, it's kind of out of the way a little bit. Let's go get that, and then I'll head southwest to work on our next pair of quests, which are these Thirsty Goblin, Thistle Shrub, Valley quests. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, so Tang, good stuff, enjoyable. Um, it's really good if you, keep, you have, like, really ice-cold water. It's not as good if it's, like, room temp or even like just slightly cool water you want like ice cold water and i find it doesn't mix that well like there's always a little bit of sediment at the bottom um which is not a great like a mouthfeel type of thing if you're drinking you get like kind of a sedimenty beverage it's not the best thing in my opinion but otherwise super good highly recommend to try if you've never had tang before and you like orange juice ish things. I mean, it's really like orange juice adjacent in terms of what it tastes like. It could, like it, it sort of tries to imitate orange juice, but I don't, but it really doesn't. So it's not really orange juice. Um, we got some things to do here, folks. Found ourselves another alliance. I mean, this, this is another example of like, I can only imagine as a bot because it just doesn't they don't do anything every hunter that i find out here or just in general they just sort of 
just sort of run away or like their pet auto attacks me and they don't nothing else happens and it's just kind of weird i don't know i've just got, gotten to the point that i just kill every alliance hunter i see basically at this point especially if they're ungilded if they're in a guild i'm a little bit nicer but otherwise yeah this is the gazridian element um so this is uh this guy is what is it marvin rivet seeker he's a scientist and a treasure hunter at heart the trolls used to occupy Tenaris, and they created a large amount of ornaments modeled after Gazrilla. That's the Hydra that we fought several episodes back in Zulfarak. They're called Gazridians. Um, I can find some myself, but I'd like to have some more to study. Can you, Maybe you can help me? He invented a detector. Cool. Thank you, sir. So the detector, if I, you see my head, my hat, looks like this. Pop the Gazridian detector on. Now it's this cool spirally thing, and then on the map, now we'll see these Gazridian elements pop up. And they really just look like these little these little piles of sand all over the zone. The best spot for these is down here. It's like south central of the zone. There's a, there's a ton of them. Um, I'm going to head down there now because we need 30 of them. So it's actually, you have to be somewhat intentional. You'll find them as you're leveling out here. But in my opinion, the easiest thing to do is just go down there intentionally and farm up a bunch of them. Um, also, did you see how much we like wrecked that that uh no, rebuff? Did you see how much we wrecked? I just this too. That hunter, I just that guy had. It's like we whirl, we wind furied him almost immediately. And then I kind of let him run a bit. I was like, well, maybe he's gonna do something here, but nope, crushed him. Also, the hat it literally replaced our helmet, so we get no stats. We're missing ten strength, eleven agility, and ten stamina. Excuse me, which is a disappointment because it's a lot of stats we're losing for this thing. You don't need this to collect the Gazridian elements. You can, um, or ornaments. You can just, you know, look for them yourself. And if you see them, you can loot them without the hat on. But the hat makes it real easy. Uh, so I tend to leave the hat on. I'm going to kill this mob because he's kind of in our way. What's our weapon skill at? It hasn't skilled up since, so it's skilled up one more time, so we're at 226 of 240. Okay, you're getting there. Alright, dead mob. Large trophy paw, not that useful. Okay. Alright. I'm going the wrong way, kind of want to head more west, really. But yeah, these, or these ornaments are all over the place. Like, they're in every zone, or they're in every corner of the zone. But for some reason, there's an ogre compound down here near Old Doom. We're going to go down near Old Doom too and check it out. And for whatever reason, um, I guess the game developers decided, hey, we're going to just put a bunch of these in one spot. So that's where they're at. Look at this camp. I don't know if I've. Uh... So this is the compound. It's like straight ahead of us. Look at this like change like decrepit campsite here. It's kind of a nice little thing. I imagine the world designers. I mean, I know they had a lot of fun with decorating things out here. Um, I recently re kind of, I read most of it a while back, but never finished it, but now I've completely finished reading uh, The WoW Diary, the the kind of the developer diary by John Stats, I think I say his name. Um, oh, these are where the brutes are at. All right, I forgot about that. Uh, but there should be a lot of ornaments here. So there's a couple already on the map. Um, so I'm going to swing through this compound and pick up as many as I can. What was that? Is that a mineral node? Iron deposit? Yeah, I'm feeling lazy. Um, yeah, let's get as many of these as we can. I think I'm going to aggro this, which is fine. Alright, let's kill this. But yeah, I want to clear out this compound completely of the ornaments, and then kill every mob I have to along the way to get through that. Um, come on, skill ups. We've had a pretty good run of loot in the last like ten episodes. I think it was a, it wasn't more than maybe ten episodes ago that we got the underworld band in Stranglethorn Vale with the the Nagas, and then we're for sure gonna aggro this, right? Oh, maybe not. Okay, cool. I wonder if that's line of sight blocking that little orna that structure, or if it's just that we were far enough away. It seemed like we were close enough we should have aggroed. These guys don't have a very large aggro radius, and they don't really patrol. I don't know if you notice this. They just literally. They don't even like move in place. It seems like they just completely just sit in one spot and don't even rotate their which way they're facing, which is kind of funny. There's a, there's a patrol. There's one of them. All right, we've got seven ornaments. We may aggro this mob on the right. He's a 46, probably, possibly not. 
All right. And also looting this, our Dragon Slayer buff's gone in 56 seconds. It's a sad times. Um, but also looting this doesn't aggro in the way that like opening a treasure chest kind of expands your aggro radius. So that's kind of nice. Um, let's swap hats for a second here. There's another one over here. I'll probably fight that mob, so I'll take put on my good hat for this fight. Speed it up a little bit. All right, we're a third of the way done. Okay, this compound is where you go if you want to get um, a whole bunch of these ornaments really easily. I'm going to pull this mob just for funsies and kill him. Get one last use out of our Anixia Slayer buff. Our DPS is going to go from... Oh, another weapon skill up. That's nice. So our DPS with Anixia is 91, just flat, without Flurry or any of these other buffs. Goes from 91 down to 80. So we lose 10 DPS, so it's about a an 11% drop in our DPS, um, not including any kind of multiplicative factors when Wind Fury or Flurry or Berserking are up. Man, that's a nice buff, that Nixie Slayer buff. Felt good to have that for a little bit there. Um, I don't ever go out of my way to get it on this guy, usually, but since I had been logged out in Orgrimmar and I saw some buffs were going to drop, I was like, well, I might as well pick up some buffs. Oh, let's get our helmet back on. It should be, yeah... There's a couple of these here and a whole bunch on the side there. That's nice. But yeah, it's nice to get that um, Anixia and Rand buff last episode. All right. I don't use Lightning Shield as much as I should. I think it's something I skip out on a lot because it seems like it's a lot of mana. But whenever my mana fills up, it feels like I should really just drop that thing on myself. It'll speed up, you know, fights a little bit when mana's full anyway. I'm not doing... It's like a pre-DPS kind of like you're... Going into a fight with mobs having, you know, 360 less health or so. Because it's like 114, yeah. So 343 less health, I guess. Um, 42. 342 less health. <laughs> so that's not right. Alright, there we go. Another one of these. So we're about half, we're at, we are half done. We'll pick up these last two, and then I think it might be another compound west of here or south of here they might have some more uh, but let's go do some quests the other ones now and then we might pick up some anyway so we don't need to go out of our way like we're doing right now and then on the way back when we're done with our quest in the southwest if we don't have all of them we'll swing by here again and just pick up as many as we need because we got about 12 or 13 from this compound so far so shouldn't be hard to Let's keep our helmet on though. Shouldn't be hard to finish up later if we need. Okay, so now we're working on the Dunmal, or sorry, the uh, Thirsty Goblin and Thistle Shrub Valley. Thistle Shrub Valley is easy. It's just a matter of killing, you know, these mobs that are over here to the southwest. Uh, the Dew, the Laden Dew Gland is a random drop from those mobs, so we can do both quests at the same time. But the drop rate on that thing is super low. It, it, it's not atrocious, but it's pretty low. And most of the time when I'm doing these quests together, I don't finish... Like, I kill all 16 mobs I need and still don't have the Laden Dew Gland. So I'm hoping for a good drop rate here. If it drops from the first 16 mobs, I'll be, you know, super happy. There's also a Turtle Escort quest out there. It's a long quest. I'm going to try to do it if we finish these two quests and the turtle's up, I'm going to try and do it because there's not a lot of people online right now. So it's a decent chance I won't run into any aggressive alliance. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it a chance. This is where we're going, by the way, this big kind of hill, hilly complex with this big cactuses, cacti. I don't know how you do plural of cactuses. I think it's cactuses. I think. I got the first ever sunburn on my head last yesterday. It wasn't. It's not that bad. And actually, I'm kind of a do for a haircut, um, head shave, I should say. It's like a, not a terrible sunburn, but it's like a mild sunburn. I, I got. Um, I didn't even notice it. My, I, I didn't feel it. My wife just mentioned to me. He's like, "Oh, your head's a little sunburned." We were out. We went for a walk. It was like a pretty long walk, maybe like an hour, hour and a half. All right, these are the guys we need. Um, so I think the turtle escort I want is straight ahead. So let's kind of clear in that direction. These are 49s. Uh, we're going to use our staff. It's a little bit higher attack power, or a little bit higher weapon skill. And I don't remember exactly. These guys are Root. One of these guys, Kessica, and Entangling Roots. But I don't remember otherwise what they cast. Let's do a Shrink Ray. Nice. I'll take that. 
Um, but yeah, I'll use a staff. It's a little bit higher weapon skill. At this point, the weapon skills are being pretty close, right? Like it's 234 versus 227. Um, that's not an insignificant, but it's not a massive difference at this point. Oh, this repeated parrying is annoying. Raw black truffle. Okay. Let's pull this one. And so you can see the two different mobs, the thistle, shrubs, and their root shapers. We're gonna, you know, effectively pull. What's more mana, Grace of Air or Strength of Earth? Grace of Air is more mana, okay. I don't know if that really matters. Resist. These guys have a lot of resistance, I, I bet, I suspect. So that's not super fun. I'm gonna pull out the Battle Chicken. Oh, I need to switch helmets too. I don't wanna have this helmet for this. Like, I wanna have as much DPS as I can on these guys. Because they're a little high level, they resist. Ugh. We don't have a lot of beverage either, unfortunately. Oh, we, we stunned them at least. It's the first time we bonked a mob all episode, I think. There we go. Oh, super overkill on that. Wow. Oh, let's just eat some food. Yeah, this is a little bit high level quest for us, I think. It's not high level, but it's just, it's slow. So, oh, the dew collectors. Maybe those are the ones that drop it. Um, okay, so I actually need to kill these mobs. So it's a separate mob altogether I have to kill. Maybe that's why it always takes you so long to get the, uh, the laden dew gland, because I'm always killing the wrong mobs. I didn't realize there were different mobs for that. That's annoying. Um... So there's actually three sets of mobs out here I have to kill. I want to try and pull this mob now, separate from the other one. Looks like that'll work. It's funny because... Oh, I forgot to switch out my chicken. Throw a grenade, because I've got a bunch of these. I don't know what else to do with them. It's funny that uh, they don't resist my nature damage, you know, and I'm blasting them with the... Uh... Oh, hey, first drop. Maybe it's 100% drop rate? If I fight the right mobs, maybe I just was attacking the wrong mobs all this time. All this time, I don't know. All right, we got our battle chicken. We're, we're rooted right now, so I'm kind of <laughs> waiting to get out of that. There we go. There we go. There's our turtley buddy. You know what I kind of want to do? Since we've got like three quests to turn in, including the laden dew gland, I kind of want to do the turtley escort quest. Um, I don't have any space, so do I? All right, Tuga, let's do this. Is he gonna follow me? Oh, he does. That's interesting. For some reason, I thought he led the way. We got 30 minutes to escort Tuga across the entire zone. Can you mount up for this? I don't know if he'll follow us at the at an appropriate pace. Sort of. I think it's faster. So I'm doing this a little bit out of order because what ends up happening is we have to run back here now to do these quests. But since we got the laden dew gland and we got a few other quests to turn in, if I turn in all those quests and finish this one, the Tuga escort, which is pretty awesome by the way. What is this? This is annoying. Huh. My add-on doesn't hide under, so I have an add-on that shows mob health. But how annoying is it that it doesn't hide when, with screenshots? How many screenshots have I taken with that stupid thing up there? Maybe if I do this. There we go. That's much better. Let's do it like this. All right. Let's get out of here. We screenshotted him. Now I want to keep going before I... Uh... Oh, is he in combat? Okay. Well, we'll get some uh, skill ups on this, maybe. Switch weapons. So, um, this should be a pretty easy quest at this time. It, 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 the only thing that's difficult about this quest is whether or not you run into PvP. So on a PvE server, it's super easy quest. On a PvE server, on a PvE server, it's super easy. On a PvP server, it can obviously go off the rails wildly fast, but it entirely just depends who you run into. Um, the turtle's not that slow, actually, of all things. Could be slower. Uh, you know what? A little marker on this guy. Could be slower. Um, and I guess I could put on my Gazeridian ornament thing. My detector. What's it actually called? Gazeridian detector, yeah. And we can uh, keep an eye out for any elements along the way. I think if you get too far away from Tuga, you will fail the quest. I mean, I know that's true. I think it's pretty decent range, but I'm trying to keep him pretty close. 
Um, we've got 28 minutes left, almost 27 minutes left to get him over there. It's not that bad. The quest actually doesn't... It says Tuga's quest, lead Tuga to Torta. Torta is Mrs. Tuga, right? See, my wife Torta sent me out to fetch dinner and I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Uh, would you be so kind to lead me back to Torta? She's waiting for me just south of Steam Weedle Port. Uh, the quest I abandoned, by the way, was to kill the random Caliph mob. I abandoned that quest. I'm going to go this way, actually. Because we're going to that spot anyway, so we can go back, turn this quest in, and then just take that quest again. So that's super convenient. So I guess what I'm saying. Come on, Tuga. Um, he's so lost. Yeah. We'll help him. <laughs> it's kind of a fun quest. It's a it's one of the better escort quests when I think about it because of the fact that it's the mob will follow your path. So you don't have to take whatever path it chooses, right? So if there's a lot of PvP on your server, you could take you could go like down here and around, you could go wherever you want. That is the best route for you to avoid being detected by Alliance in my case. Um, in, in this instance, though, there's so few people on. Like, I just did a survey here. I think it just searched. Um, there's 467 Horde characters on right now. The Alliance a little more populated, but not wildly so. So my guess is there's like 500 people on in total. Um, I do want to get these guys Ridian elements, sort of. But I kind of just want to get this quest done. Like, when I think about it, I am probably coming back down here anyway to kill those last... Thistle shrubs, like, or another 10 of them that I need, or sorry, um, another 14 of them I need. But, we might aggro that guy, that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm more excited to get this quest done. We're about halfway there, approximately. Um, only fought one mob so far, so that's, that's handy. I will pick up these when I see them and they're they're free. Like if there's no one around the mob, sure I'll, I'll loot them. Or around the loot, I'll get it. I don't want to fight a bunch of mobs on the way. I really just want to get this quest done before more people log in. <laughs> the more people that log in, the more chance someone just decides to attack me and that's gonna stink. Um, no, we should ding from all these quests because you've got three. We'll have a fourth one to turn in and we only need 20,000 experience or so, a little bit less. So, uh, you know, 20,000 experience, like 7,000 experience per quest. I think that's a, for those three. With this one, it'd be less than that. You know, 5,000 experience per quest. It shouldn't be unreasonable. So, Tenaris has served us pretty well so far. We're, we should be able to get a level out of this. We still have a handful of quests left, including some easier ones. Um, a bunch of pirate quests I look forward to doing. And there's a follow up to some of. The quests are turning in, I think. Um, we also need to do... There's probably some quests in Stranglethorn Vale. I, I mentioned this a couple episodes back that I skipped. That I would, that would start, that would lead to here, but I was lazy, so... I didn't do that, but eventually I'll do that. Now, the most direct route at this point is going to be to go, essentially, northeast as sharply as possible. So, I'm going to do that. <laughs> He's a little whiny. I don't know if you see this. He says, I'm getting sand stuck in my toes. I'm thirsty. Oh, we thought we'd aggro a mob. Sure. That's fine. We're going to kill this thing as fast as we can. We still got one figure up barely. Let's refresh that. Um, a fire rock. I don't know if these guys drop anything good. I appreciate that Tuga helps a bit. Giant egg. Those are nice. Giant eggs are good. Um, yeah, so today is actually the 8th of June, and it's pretty much the first day I'm back in my lab working. Um, because of my interviews taking a lot of time and because of mostly the pandemic, I was, um, I was at home for a long time. I was in lab every now and then. I'm checking on stuff, but I went in on Friday and started up a few things, getting some equipment up and running, but I'll be in today soon. So... My YouTube videos should be more regularly on a schedule soon. Let's see if we can keep running and not aggro that hyena. If we keep going, does the hyena just give up? Or does Tuga fight him? It seems like they run at about the same pace. That's funny. 
So as long as I kept moving, the mobs never stopped to attack. It, like, Tuga never stopped. And therefore, the mob never hit him. And then we're probably fighting a mob here. Oh, no, we're, we're good. I was having trouble getting through this, like, a little gap here. Come on, Tuga. Keep running. Keep running. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Yeah, keep running. Keep running. Oh, he won't follow me. Okay, that's fine. I don't think Tuga does a lot of a lot of threat generation. I noticed that my one flame shock pulled that mob off after Tuga was fighting him for a couple seconds. But no harm done. Uh, a little more experience never hurt anyone. But yeah, so I'll be back in lab today, and uh, my wife's still working from home. That might change in a couple weeks. But um, when she was working from home, she still would go in once or twice a week for work. Like they had a way to like rotate in the clinical staff, the hospital she works at. So I. Um, would drive her in and drop her off, this, so she wouldn't have to pay for parking, and it would also be faster for her to to like, go to the parking garage or whatever. Um, yeah, so now now it's like, well, I told her, I was like, well, it's your turn to drive me in. She's like, I don't know if I want to drive you in five days a week, though. And it's a lot. It's a lot to ask, because it ends up taking probably 30 to 40 minutes out of her day every day, and that's a lot. Um, I'm going to look for treasure chests as we're moving over this way. If I see any, I might... might fight my way in and get him. Um, gosh, we're, we only got 20 minutes left to do this quest. It's, it takes a good 10 minutes at least to run this guy up here. Even if I took the most direct route and was really aggressive about my speed, I think it would still take, a, you know, minimum 10 minutes. So that's a long quest. I'm trying to get to the coastline because the mobs on the coastline are turtles and they're neutral. So if we kind of sneak over here, um, we shouldn't fight anything else at this point. You can't go straight east because like there's there's stuff that blocks you from getting to the coastline, um, just like physical landscape structures. But if you go kind of at this angle that I did, you can sort of hit here, and then you just kind of run along the coastline for the most part. I don't know if you can swim. I don't really want to go in the water and find out it bugs out. So I'm going to just skirt around the west side of this little hill structure here. Play it safe. Um, while I'm doing my run... Um, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters, especially Adam H, Luke D, and Chris S. They're my top tier supporters, so they get that shout out by name every episode. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the support of everyone on my Patreon. So thank you guys. Guys and gals, or whatever you identify as, thank you. Um, all right. It, that brings up an interesting thought to me. So in high school, there's a friend of mine. Um, there's a woman, this friend of mine, she, uh, would always say like, hey gals, like greet, no matter what group people it was, she'd always greet people as, as gals. And she did it intentionally as like a counter to people that greet people as guys. Oh, hey, here's Torta. We're done, I think. Yes, completed. Is there a little animation here or any chat that goes on? Anything? I'm going to turn this in quickly before I forget. Ooh, 120 armor. That's kind of cool. Torta, my love. I have returned at long last. I think I'll take this, though. I don't think I'll use the armor ring. Any idea how long I've been waiting? And where's dinner? Uh, all that time gone and nothing to show for it? My dearest Torta, I've gone for so long. Finally we're reunited. At long last, her love can blossom again. Enough with the rambling. I'm starving. Now get your dusty shell into that ocean and bring Mama some grub. Yes, Torta, whatever your heart desires, and try not to get lost this time. Oh, man, that's a rough relationship. Putting in some work, though. He gets lost, looking for food, immediately gets back. He professes his love, gets sent out to the ocean to find more food. <laughs> that's kind of funny. All right, let's go grab the Caliph quest that I just, that I uh, abandoned, just so we have it on us. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a quick swing down here and see if I can find that guy. Just because it'd be such an easy quest to do. And if I can't, well, I'll go, um, I gotta get off this to read this. Um, I'd like to find him to do the quest. It's such an easy quest, right? Just kill one mob, move on with your life. Um, let's go take a look, see if we can find it. Find him, I should say. Um, but yeah, okay, so a friend of mine would always refer to groups of people as gals. No matter if it was a guy or a girl, I'd just say gal. And, like, 
you know, so I'd be in a group and she'll like walk up and be like, hey, gals, or was it ladies? Maybe she said ladies. I don't remember. Something that was, oh boy. Oh boy, we have a, what do we have here, folks? We got one of them, one of them alliance hunters over here. Someone's got to do it. I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but someone's got to take care of this, uh, these bots. Get myself, oh, let's see what loot it drops. Maybe it's something sick. Let's steal this tag. Ooh, thank you, sir. I'll take, or ma'am, I'll take that thick furry mane. That was fun. Is this our guy? Nope. Is that our guy? Nope. Is that our guy? Nope. Slash tar. Cow. Is he stealth? Is he stealth up? Is I kind of vaguely remember thinking he's a stealth mob. I'm gonna give a few targets here. Ooh. Okay. Still not finding him. It is Caliph, right? Yeah. I kind of think he, he's stealth, but I don't think he always is stealth. I don't know why, but like somehow, let's just kind of patrol down here a little bit further. I could just make a macro, as I've said, but I'm lazy and I'd rather just retype this 20 times. Um, and so she'd always refer to people as what was more of like an effeminate greeting. And she did it specifically to counter when people would say, hey guys, how you doing? Something like that. And I, I've i used the word guys to refer to men and women, like a group of people. My entire life, like I've never, you know, I certainly don't intend it to be insulting. I don't think anyone I've ever met has been insulted. And if I say like, hey guys, how's it going? Like I use it in YouTube a lot, right? Like when I was like, all right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like at the end of the episode, I usually say something like that. And um I don't think, I don't even think of it as being associative with gender or sex or anything like that. Like I, it's like, hey, people is like kind of how I think of it. Oh, there we go. Found him. Okay, cool. He was like right there. Sweet. Let's get him. Um, what's he got? Some buddies? It's fine. I don't care. Doesn't really matter. This should be a pretty easy group of people to kill. I'm just gonna burn down Caliph to start and we'll kill his little rogue buddies. So he's not stealth, but the people with him are stealth. That makes sense. Okay. Do they interrupt? No, that's good. I was trying to stun them, but my totem kind of ruined that fun. Um, my totem's gonna drop in a moment, the searing totem, unfortunately, but I think we're still. F oh, that works. <laughs> Big wind fury crit will cure what ails you. Um, all right, so that's cool. So we got this guy. Let's go turn in this quest too. It might be. I think it's back at Steam Weedle Port. But I'm not totally sure. I'll, I have to read the quest. Um, either way, I want to do one quick heal and then mount up. So the quest turn in for this. Oh, it's Gadgetan. Okay, that's even better. So that's that's convenient. So that's really convenient. So now we got another quest done just like that. Um, We'll clear up that quest spot, or that space in our inventory by getting rid of that. Iron deposit, I'm feeling lazy. So, I found an amazing zone for mining and herbalism. Um, Alterac, um, I want to say Alterac Valley, Alterac Mountains? Or, sorry, Alterac Mountain, I should say, I think, just singular. Is it singular? Alterac Mountains, okay, so it's plural. So I've been over there on my druid a lot, and I, I basically just, like, have been logging him out there. When I'm on days where I know I can't really play a lot of WoW, but I might have, like, ten minutes here or there, if, like, I'm working from home. Um, I basically log my druid out in Alterac Mountains. And then, oh, man. Oh, folks. It's another Alliance Hunter. Sorry, bro. I mean, again, look at the way people, they... They react. They just keep fighting. They're, they're all bots. Every hunter out here is a bot. And if you notice, the only mobs we really find out here are bots. Like, oh, I don't mind taking this tag, see what kind of loot we get. It's really fun to steal tags from people because what happens if you get like an epic or blue? Like, oh, that feels real good if you steal that from an alliance, especially a bot. But like all these, every mob we're running into, every player we're running into, player we're running into, is just a level, like, just a hunter. They're always hunters. 
the only like look at this guy look at this guy he's back he's not gonna do anything he's just literally he's just a bot I mean he, he basically rezzed and immediately came back spawned up summoned his pet and ignored me like they're just all bots everything out here is a bot it's really unfortunate and it's a huge problem that Blizzard just is in my opinion, Blizzard has completely failed at handling bots and cheating in Classic. Um, they take this approach where they kind of wait and see in a sense, and they gather data and then do like waves of bans. I understand that logic. But these, but like, here's the thing. If you're a botter, so Blizzard says they do that because, you know what? I mean, are you kidding me? Blizzard says they do that in a, or the, our, the logic is that we think, I don't know if Blizzard says this, but we believe it's so that botters can't figure out how they detect that Blizzard is. So botters, so people that bot won't be able to understand, or companies that bot won't figure out how Blizzard found out that they were botting. Okay. I don't know if that's a, a Blizzard statement or just a theory that fans have, but when you look at this guy, I can tell you how people figure out they're botters because they're, they're stupid, they're always hunters, and they do the same thing. They just are on a, a direct path. This guy's basically on some pathway. He's probably going straight for, you know, in this direction, he's going to kill the first, attack the first mob he sees. It's not even close. Like, there's no question this is a bot. Um, he probably has a res timer now. He's probably not up right at this very moment. But any second now, he should res up, and I'm camping him, essentially, because I don't feel, like, guilty when I'm camping bots, but, like, man, I, if I just farmed just bots, I would probably have so much honor by this point. And here's a question. Is he gonna spawn a soon? So, I'm a little surprised he hasn't spawned yet. There he is. Spawned. Oh, look, it attacked me with a charge. That was interesting. Is it gonna emote? Nope. Doesn't do anything. I mean, I don't know. I find the whole thing a little bit frustrating how bad botting is in Classic. And you can tell at high levels there's still 60 bots. It's not like they get banned by the time they're before they're 60. Like these things get to level 60. And I can sit out here all day and kill one bot, but like, what good is me just focusing on one bot gonna ever do? I'm only one person. I mean, you almost need to generate bots that farm bots to stop it as a player. That'd be kind of a fun exercise. Design a bot that you, like if I have come in here and I see this mob, I run my bot out here and train my bot to only kill that mob and keep itself alive enough to kill that. I keep saying mob because it's basically a mob, <laughs> but basically find a way to program a bot that kills other bots. So it's like the Terminator. <laughs> Um, I think that'd be awesome. Alright, the Thirsty Goblin, the Laden Dewgland. F almost 5,000 experience, 70 silver, and a follow-up. We need to speak to Sprinkle and Gadgetsan. Alright. This is going to give us eventually the Nogginfogger Elixir quest, which is really cool. I'm really excited to get that eventually, but it, we've got a few steps to go. I think we have to go to the Hinterlands to finish it even, so... Yeah. Alright, Caliph Scorpid Sting's Head, 5,000 experience, and one gold. Cool. That's good. Helping out the Gadgets and Water Company. Um, we got another turn in the back over here. This is uh, Andy Lynn. My you're a tall one. The D Dune Mall Compound Quest. So we can get um, some cloth gloves that mm, are decent. They might be better than our current healing set, but I don't know. I don't have an army to compare. And this is a little bit annoying to read, but the shoulders, these are also... These are not better than what we have. Oh, well, you know what? I guess my, my outfitter, it tells me what stuff I would have. So my heal set is 9 int, 8 stamina, 8 spirit, which is probably better than 13 spirit, 7 stamina. So that's not better than my current heal set. And my current heal set shoulders are 10 intellect, 5 stamina, 6 spirit. These are 11 intellect, 6 stamina, 4 spirit. It's kind of a wash. I'm not going to keep them. I'll just, I'll just vendor them. Hey, we just dinged. We are now level 49. At level 50, we're gonna, oh, there's a wanted poster? Who is this? I think it's the same wanted poster that's over in here, in Steam Weedle Port, I think. I think Andre Firebeard, we can kill him from either of those quests, same quest, I think. All right, in good taste. 
Uh, this is the one we just got from Nogginfogger to come over here. Um, a Violet Tregan. Tregan. This is from a, a, a pond in Hinterlands, right? Yep. All right. We'll go back there eventually. And then our last quest to turn in is this one. Does this guy have any good stuff to buy? Like any of these... Might be worth picking up some of these, I don't know. These limited recipes sometimes sell in the auction house for more than what you pay for them by a decent amount. So I tend to buy them when I see them and then resell them for like... From 20 silver to like 3 to 5 gold, I jack it up a little bit. I don't feel too guilty about that because it's not like I'm camping them. I just, if I see one, I'll try and resell it. We can resell that later. And the Centipar Parts, 3200 experience. I'm happy to be done with that quest. That quest was gross. All right. Um, at this point, we might just call it a day here. I think this is a Zulfarak quest. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, one of these guys. So I'm looking for repair. Let's sell off. Um, there's a lot of this junk we're not going to use. Those cuffs we got, we're not going to use. We're pretty far along in the Gazridian element quest, which is nice. Um, oh, I don't know if I want to sell the bread. I'm trying to hold on to more food stuff. Oh, that's a nice thing to sell. Two gold for that. Cool. We could almost disenchant that. I think that's at the level range. I'd just be happy to sell it. Um, the Waste Wonder pouches will keep more food. Uh, what else are we getting rid of? That's a fair amount of food there. Let's smelt up some of this stuff. What do we have to smelt? In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I've mailed over some ore to this character that I picked up on my other guy. And some, uh, some stones and things. So, like, this, stones. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here. And then off camera, this is what I was looking for. Hammer of the Northern Wind. So now we can use this cool thing as a one-hander which is 39.5 DPS, so it's 10 less DPS, so we can use a shield with it. So this is what I was thinking it happens level 49. We can use this now. What's our one-handed mace? Oh god, it's so low. Ugh. I didn't realize how bad it was. Uh-oh. Well, anyways, there's a lot of this, like, these stones and ore and stuff I sent over. I'm going to off-camera just smelt all this up and turn it into solid blasting powder and all that good stuff. That's going to take a little while to do this, so I'll do that off-camera. We might start using that mace next episode. I don't know. That's a lot of skill ups to do. Um, that's a lot of skill ups. Uh, yeah, that's a long skill up process. I I think we'll probably start using it. We'll probably start trying to use it. Um, anyway, all right. So like I said, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start smelting up some things off camera and send it to my bank character just to hold it elsewhere. But um, that is all for today, so thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.